Okay, welcome back. Uh, do a little bit of overview where we left off last time. Uh, we built all the top half, well, put all the, the second lift on for the first floor, should I say. Uh, that's all now detachable. Right, so I'm going to move that out of the way for a second. Put that just there because. We're going to do, well, I'm going to do some work on the stairs. So, the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to put the cling film in there. As we all know now, like, I like my cling film. I'll put that back on, like so. I put the cling film in there because I now want to put in uh, two door frames at the top of the stairs here, and also. I want to put another bit of walling in and I don't want that walling to stick to this section here because I want that to be to lift up with this lot so I'm going to go ahead now I'm going to glue these uh, door frames in I bet I had my big hands in the way because I was looking what I was doing and not at the, not at the screen uh, we're going to get them door frames glued in in position and uh, we'll get some a brickwork cut and fitted in and we'll get this up to height so we can actually get on and get the inside of this all boarded out and fireplaces in as well okay we've got the two bits of wall in and we've got the two door frames in if I swing it around that way two door frames in and the two bits of wall I just need to bring it up to height now now as you can see right away along this back edge I cut it back by one course because I was originally going to put the plate in there but I've changed my mind now so when we put the plasterboard on it will actually come level with this bit and what I'll have to do is run around with a bit of filler or something just to fill that bit in but uh, it's nothing, no big deal so I'm going to get on and get two bits cut for here and get them glued on and uh, we'll have a look and go from there okay we've uh, cut the two pieces to go across the top of the door I have to put two little packers in just to make the distance up between the door frame and the wall so we've got them in there uh, next thing I want to turn my attention to is we're going to put two fire breasts in one, the, one this end and one down this end so i shall get them made up and we'll get them put in next okay i've uh, put the fireplaces in can we see that if i turn so we've got one down this end i'll try and move the camera in a little bit without causing too much devastation we've got one down this end he's done which is a small opening which I shall uh, endeavour to put a fireplace in if we can get that turned around you can't really see that one <laughs> believe me we, we, we've got another one this end as well and then if we turn the camera slightly that way we've got one that end as well so we've got all this up to height now so what I'm going to do now I'm going to run around with the plasterboard and get this done and finished off because I'm going to have to drop down if I bring the camera back and down I'm going to have to drop down to the bottom level get this fireplace fixed and the fireplace for in here and also I need to do a slight bit of alteration uh, because on here I don't know how it happened but I'm a brick out, I need to move it this way by a brick. So I need to cut one brick out all the way down this side, move the window over and replace the brick that side. The simple reason is this side is like that. And when I come to put my corners on, it's going to look extremely odd because uh, that one will be that sort of distance from the uh, window 
and if you can see, if I move the camera again, uh, you can see it's very close to the window. So I'm going to move that one across a brick and get that done. Uh, because I don't want it to look odd uh, because I've got some different plans for the actual roof because uh, I've been trying to get around building regulations on this one but I will say that we're going to put two dormers well there should be three dormers but the, th the third dormer will be gone so I'm actually going to put dormers in this roof uh, just to give it I don't know, a little bit of an old fashioned look because dormers were used quite a lot in houses. It made houses look bigger than that, what they actually were. So that's the plan for up the top here. But firstly, I'm going to get on and get all the inside plaster boarded up. And then I'll come back and let you have a little look. Uh, there's no need for me to actually show you how to do that because we've already been through all of these bits that I'm actually doing uh, in other videos so all I'm going to do is get get on get it done so we can get finished and get started on this roof right that's another bit finished we've got all the plasterboard on as you can see in both rooms and in the stairwell as well I've put that on uh, I just want to get it all finished off don't want little bits left that left here and there so that's all done the fireplaces have been uh, boarded out and like I said earlier I'm gonna have to do do a bit of research and see what sort of uh, fireplaces they actually had in there but that's down to detailing I've also ran a bit of fill around the top because uh, if you remember I chopped the course off to take the wall plate uh, I filled that back up because, like I say, I've got to manipulate the building regulations on this one. So that's all done. That's all complete. All I've got to do now is just a little bit of filling and sanding, which I'm going to do. And I shall now just drop the camera down very gently. Not like the other clip where I've got my fingers over it and good knows what else. Uh, I'm going to move on to this window here I'm going to cut this one down even though I did say it earlier but I'm just going to chop one course of bricks off move that window along I'm also going to cut this window in and the window on the far side I should get that one cut in uh, there's no point in me showing you that because we've already done that then I'm going to chop in two windows here and one window there just to keep it all balanced uh, patch this hole up and also just to get finished off I'm going to get the fireplace this side glued in and finished with and the fireplace on that side so when you when, when, when I come back all them bits will be done so all it's going to leave me then is to actually get on with the roof which I'm still, like I say, I'm still sort of trying to really work out how to get it done because I still want this set of stairs in here coming up to the loft and it's just getting it so it looks right and it's feasible but uh, I am working on it, I am working on it and it will happen and I also I would like to do two dormers in the actual roof if that's going to work I don't know but they are two things I would like to do well three dormers but the third one will be uh, gone in the debris pile but I would like to get two dormers in there as well so we'll see how it goes but I'm going to get on now and I'm going to get on with these uh, windows and we'll get them finished off and done. Okay, I thought I'd uh, do another clip because I've changed a few things. Uh, to start off with, the first thing is that I've moved this window over, like I said I was going to do. And also, I took these thin seals out and I replaced them with a thicker seal. 
which I think looks uh, more in keeping. So I've done that top and bottom and as you can see I've cut the top windows out on this as well so they're all done ready for uh, making some more windows because I just broke the old windows out because I weren't going to muck about. Uh, going around to the back uh, we'll take that out of the way for a second going around to the back uh, as you can see we've only got one window in the back here a uh, simple reason is if I put two in uh, the stairs come here on this about here and that window then would have interfered with the staircase so I've just done the one I've moved this window over uh, by a, a brick and a half and we've cut this window in as well simple reason is I'm going to use the little outbuilding and I think I'm going to fix it onto the back of the property like that as a outbuilding which I think I think will work okay so that's what I've done so far and now I'm just going to carry on I'm going to get these sills put in leveled up and get all them completed and then I'm going to turn my attention to the inside and get these bits and pieces well broke plasterboard and that uh, get them tidied up and done and get on with the fireplaces as well so I will be coming back to you again in a very few, well, it's only a second for you, but it could be quite a few hours for me. Right, the final clip for this uh, video. Right, what I've actually done is I've managed to get all the seals in. I've also removed, if I can turn that that way, if, if you remember before, these lintels actually stood out. I've actually taken them out and flushed them up uh, so all the windows have been cut in and but the window frames I'm going to be leaving I'm going to do them as separate units with the windows themselves and put put them in, in individually inside I've done the fireplace this side if we can see just about this side I haven't put the fireplace in uh, I'm still waiting on the PE uh, stove. I don't really want to build the fireplace until I build the stove so I can make the fireplace fit round the stove and for it to look right. But it's no big, big deal. Uh, so all the fittings being done on, on round the windows just needs sanding down now. That's no big critical thing. I shall probably be doing a little bit of that each day. Uh, over the next uh, coming week or so moving around now the observant of you might notice that the brickwork is actually all the same colour because if you go back a little while a little bit uh, this was all different colours I've just been uh, playing with a new technique which if it works out okay I shall uh, do a video and show you what I'm doing Onto the back, uh, we'll just move that out of the way for a second, and the same on the back here, as you notice, the brickwork is all virtually the same colour now. But like I say, I will do a separate video on that when I'm happy with the technique. Uh, seals and lintels in, uh, the back's been patched up, uh, and like I said on the uh, earlier clip, I didn't put this window in here for the simple reason is when we actually come to I lift you up a little bit when we actually come to doing uh, the stairs this is the, the first set of stairs and the second set's going to come up here into the loft so if I put a window there it would have been right on top of the stairs so that's the reason why I never put the second window in uh, all them bits and pieces are finished which I'm happy about this is definitely going on to the back I think that's going to make a nice little feature on the back here rendering I don't know yet if this little technique that I'm working on works out all right I might just leave it as brick but watch this space because it's all experimental so all in all everything now is 
uh, finished all the little bits and pieces by the little fireplace so now I'm going to turn my attention to the roof line that's what's going that's going to be the next video I've really have now sussed out in which direction I'm going and, and how things are going to work out the stairs are definitely going in here because I can just do them at a steeper angle and actually have them coming up with a picture of the roof so I'm quite happy with that so what I should be doing on the next one will be but we're going to be building the gable ends uh, getting them up building the uh, chimneys right the way through and then actually putting all the roof on as I said earlier on I do want to put two dormers in here if it works out it works out if not it don't but the the roof's going to be quite a bit bit of a project uh, like I say in real life I would just put a wall, a wall plate on put the uh, ceiling joists across then just tie in with the roof trusses it would be quite straightforward and simple but like I say I need to get access inside as this you know as we've got this all accessible I'm trying to get it off and it's stuck Is it? ah, there we go so I mean we have now got that section that we can work on quite easily uh, this section now will drop back in and you can work on that quite easily from the top and I want to do the same for the roof uh, I'm still working on little bits and pieces on that well, I'm probably gonna I'm probably gonna go for a separate section at the back of the roof uh, that will actually lift off so you can actually get inside to do everything but that will be it on the next video I'm sorry this uh, video has been a little bit on the boring side and not too many interesting things but they're all things that needed to be tidied up and squared up before we moved on and started on the roof so I'd just like to thank you for joining me and hopefully we'll see you on the next video so thank you very much mm -hmm.